It's on anything else. How dare you, in effect? I, I want to hang on to these very good people you've spoken of doing Indeed. selfless deeds because their faith has inspired them to do so. What do you believe religion is? I'm a, in, 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 in only this respect am I an orthodox uh, Freudian. I think that Freud in the future of an illusion says it's ineradicable in us, or at least it's not eradicable until we cease to be afraid of death or of dying. And, if, and cease to be afraid of the dark, and so it, it will continue to replicate. It's, it's the highest form that, that wish thinking takes, wish thinking being the cheapest form of our emotions and our ambitions. It is the, it is the most elevated form that that cheap uh, narcissistic and solipsistic ambition takes. I, I, think that, uh, I think that with writing The Future of Religion, he, he both condemned us to go on living with it, but taught us how, what we already knew, which was it's, it's a curse. Can I ask you, Stephen, with your love of the Church of England mm. rituals and music and beauty, what is the, your experience of spirituality within yourself? Um, it's a word I shy away from. Uh, it's a very corrupted word now, and I, I suspect it always was. I don't know that it was ever used in, in more spiritual days in the way that we use it now, it's become messed in a great hodgepodge of New Age nonsense where people say, well, you can't deny the spiritual dimension. But to me, <clears throat> to me, reason is as spiritual as anything else. Uh, the, the beauty of reason seems to me to be something ineluctable and ineffable and numinous. Uh, whatever word you want to use, there are other words. I mean, the spirit is, after all, it's the same word we use to describe it. Perpetual is a spirit. It's an essence. It's called... It's called essence in French, and it's called petroleum spirit in England, and it's the same thing. It's an essence. I mean, a lot of these, it's not word games, you know. I remember um, Ignatius of Loyola, the, the founder of the Jesuits. Um, if you're a Jesuit, you have to follow his spiritual exercises, and the Greek for spirit is, is pneumatos, as in pneu, as in a breath, as in pneumatic. And in fact, it occurred to me that spiritual exercises in Greek is pneumatic drill, which is a peculiar, um, <laughs> peculiar oddity of language, but... I mean, this is where we are. We, we, we're talking about reserving words. I mean, a curate is one who cures. I mean, health is the same root as holy and heal. And, 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 and you know, these, these, because these words have been reserved, it is, it is a kind of shamanistic thing that society has done. And my own view of my enjoyment when I'm in New York, I tend to go to St. James's in Fifth Avenue and, uh, and, and, and worship there because... It's like going to a cricket match abroad to me, and I, I don't mean that in a trivial sense. Nothing's trivial about cricket as far as I'm concerned. It, is a, it connects me to, uh, through whatever insecurity, I, I feel disconnected to England and therefore make myself all the more connected by liking there's a green hill far away and, and, and the, the versicles and the responses and so on and the, 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 the liturgical certainties and rhythms. Um, but... Um, I'm very angry, always uh, inside me, whenever I, whenever I hear someone make claims for God. If there is a God, it seems to me so obvious and so absolutely clear that if he does exist, he is capricious and mean and willful. Um, C.S. Lewis wrote a book called The Problem of Pain, and he tried to grapple with the obvious fact. It's a branch of theology known as theodicy, and I think justifying the ways of God to man. But... When a child has bone cancer, how can you say there is a loving God? I know it's a cliché complaint about him, but I've never heard a satisfactory answer. It arose again with the tsunami. You might, at some twisted level, say when a volcano, well, perhaps not a volcano, but certainly a, um, you know, a hurricane killed a load of children, that it was all man's fault because of global warming, though I think that's bullshit. Um, you certainly can't have the plate tectonics, which are the very structure of the earth, destroying children. Um, what possible, possible benefit is there? How, so, yes, there may be a creator. I don't think it's at all likely. Um, but it's possible and it's a useful model for looking. We all like to say, thank you, God. I mean, it's a natural thing to do. But to say that he's loving, to say that he's benevolent, to say that he cares for us, or to say that having made us uh, something we never asked of him, creation, that we should spend our time on our knees in front of him, 
Well, it's, it's outrageous. No, it's, Why should we it's thank been well, It's been well put into it. Um, you've done brilliantly, but it can be condensed into a phrase. <laughs> but we, we, are, we are created sick and commanded to be well. Yes, essentially. That couldn't yes. happen. Yeah. It's, that means it's very good that there is no evidence for the existence of God. Yeah. That's why I'm an anti-theist, because if the wishing that it was true would yes. be wanting to be a slave yes. and a plaything, and one can't want that as a free person. Just on the point of the numinous, which you, if I may, I want to sort of partly second you. Some people confront one by saying, well, what about, how can you live your life without sort of magic and beauty and, so to speak, the numinous? And um, because I've always been very interested in religion and love to argue with it, I don't envy those who are totally born without the gene, to whom it's utterly meaningless, who've never been to a church, who don't care about the Cranmer prayer book or the King James Bible, which I care about very much. In fact, one of the few things I agree with my brother about is that when the Church of England threw these things to one side, it threw away a pearl uh, richer than all its tribe and replaced it with psychobabble. They don't even know when they've got anything of, of value. But if you have a feeling of awe, and awe is the only one of the lexicon you didn't mention, so I'm yes, grabbing it for myself. Yes. Have a look through the Hubble telescope if you want to see something absolutely beautiful and wondrous. Mm. Or contemplate the unraveling of the human genome. Or, or look, read a page of Stephen Hawking. There's real beauty and uh, mystery absolutely. and wonder there. Hawking describes the event horizon. It's the lip of the black hole. It theoretically exists. If you could get to it and topple in and fall into a black hole, you'd be able to see the past and the future. Except that you wouldn't have enough time, of course, but I mean, that's not part of the yes. theory. One of Hawking's colleagues says that's the way he'd like to die if he knew he had only six months to live. He'd need a bit more. This is wonderful stuff. Uh, absolutely. And, 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 and people say, but what about, why wouldn't you rather turn your attention to a burning bush? I, well, or to the I, fact I, that Lazarus makes no comment on being resurrected from the dead. Yes. I, not can I, just I mean, it's one? not enough to keep the mind alive, is it? As Peter Cook, <laughs> yeah. Peter Cook used to say, it's not enough to keep the mind alive. I, I will tell you why we're moving on now to blasphemy itself, which um, is the nature of this debate. The points of view you express are shared by the secular West. And um, I, in the 50s, remember very well, um, the relig well I, I grew up in a, a church-going community. And we thought religion would fall away. We thought that science uh, required evidence. We were taught to believe that you only believed something for which there was actual proof and that unless there was, then you, you had to be very skeptical about it. And so religion's days were numbered and it would go away. It didn't go away. It has come back with a fantastic force, which is now one of the prime movers in the world political.